Hello, thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to show you how to create surveys that are ungraded surveys if you wanted to ask your students a question in a course. So I work at CSU Channel Islands and if you're watching this from somewhere else, you might have different resources, but I'm going to show you three ways to create a survey for students. So we have something called MyCI, and that's where I started. Um, there are three ways. The first I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you using within a Canvas um, course that you've already developed. For, so for us, that's CI Learn. So you would click on that and then select a course. And for me, I'm going to work in an old course just to show you how to do it. When you're in your course, over here on the left, there are many different options of things you can select. You should have the option of quizzes. So select quizzes. And now in the upper right corner, click add quiz. Now here it gives you the option. I would just select classic quizzes and submit. Now, when you are in here, you can create a quiz or you can actually create a survey. So um, I could name my sample quiz. And then if you scroll down under quiz type, you can select that graded quiz and you can change it to ungraded survey. Now that is just going to be a survey and you can ask your students any type of question you want. When you scroll back up, you click on questions to add questions. So click add new question. And you can add all different types of questions. You can add multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank, fill in multiple blanks, multiple answers, matching, they're pretty self-explanatory, so I clicked true false just as an answer. So you would select, like type up here, um, hmm, a dinosaur is a type of animal. And then um, the student would type true or false here. Um, and you can tell them, um, give them a response to their answer. So, oh, false. Yes, this was false. Great job. Something like that. Okay. And then you would say update question. And then that would add the question to your sort of like test bank. And then when you go back over here to details, up here you would describe, so this ungraded survey is designed to assess your knowledge before the course. That might be one reason that you would want to use an ungraded survey. And then when you scroll down, you can shuffle the answers, you can have a time limit, you can allow multiple attempts, and especially if this is ungraded, that might be one that you might consider. Um, you can let your students see their quiz responses, and um, or you can designate when those answers show up for you. And then you can assign it to everyone, select a due date, and all of that. So I'm actually going to cancel out and not create that quiz, but I just wanted to show you that as an option. The second option that our university has, and that most people do have an option of using, is Qualtrics. So um, you would just go to Qualtrics.com, and I think they have a free version available with um, kind of a maximum number of participants, but some universities like ours, they signed up for Qualtrics. So for our university, just to let people know, um, you would go to csuci.qualtrics.com to use Qualtrics. 
When you're there, you would click on Create a New Project. And I'm just going to click Select or Create Your Own Survey. And get started. So now this looks kind of similar. You can create all different kinds of questions. Um, I'm going to create one and add some questions here, um, just as an example. Add a lot of different types of questions. A descriptive text is great for just a short answer. So how do you feel about this course? Sort of like a get to know you um, question. So I'll call this get to know you survey. Okay, so let's say I created all of the questions. I feel really, really good about them. Then I am going to hit up here, go up to the right corner. You can preview it. I'm happy with it, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Publish. So it looks good. It does a little assessment for you, and then you click Publish again. It says your survey has been successfully published and activated, and you can distribute this anonymous link below. Okay, so I would copy that and um, I would also want to go to this distribution section. Now what this is going to do is take you to um, your survey and how you can distribute it, I think. Okay, let's go see if I can find that one. Okay, so I'm going to click back on it because it didn't take me exactly where I thought it was going to. Um, and then we're going to click distributions at the top of the page. When you are in distributions, if you are using a university kind of um, bought version of Qualtrics, you may need to allow um, the recipients to come from a different website. Um, I know I had to do this before. Let me see. Because, um, let's see, distribution center, no, distribute survey. Yeah. Yeah, because I got a response once that said that we, um, Someone couldn't complete it if they were outside the university. So you may run into that issue. So if you run into that issue, what you should do is um, you should make sure you tell your students to use their, um, make sure they're logged in, I should say, through their university login first. That might be the issue. So I'm not seeing any way to change that. And if you are having people participate in your survey that are not a part of your university, you might want to use my third option. So we're going to go to that option now. And that will be a Google form. So for us, we have something called CI Docs, and that's where you would go to your Google Drive. When you're in your Google Drive, and if you don't have something called CI Docs, you're from somewhere else, and you would use um, just go to your Google Drive and anyone can get that through Google. And then once you have that and you are in here, click add a new up here in the left hand corner and it's going to give you a lot of options. Now it does not show you Google Forms unless you kind of scroll over where it says more. So add Google Form. Click on that. 
Google Form is my favorite by far um, lately. So Google Form, I find it to be very user friendly and it is absolutely free. So um, you can give it a title and then even a description. Thank you for participating or something like that. And then again, you can create all the different kinds of questions. Um, and then here is where you would select different types of questions. So if I wanted to change it back to multiple choice, I could. I just find it to be very user friendly, just like everything that Google creates. Um, and so once you've created your survey and you're happy with it, um, you would go up to send. And it's going to give you options of emailing it or getting a link. And you definitely want a link. Um, now, you can see up here, it tells me automatically collect the dolphin pod um, email. I mean, for me, I would always say, yes, that sounds great. So I'm going to shorten the link as well. I love that they have that. I'm going to copy it or you can click copy here. Now, um, I am going to X out of that. What I ran into was that I had to allow other people here to, um, to be able to complete this survey. Um, and so I had to select something there. If you want people outside of the university to participate, then you do have to change the settings somewhere. So I wanted to show you that, but now I'm not seeing it. Um, so let me see if I can find that. But anyway, I really love Google Forms. Maybe I won't be able to find it. So let me know. Um, you're welcome to comment and let me know if you have that as a question. I will go and figure that out for you. But in this video, at least I showed you three different options and then how to send it out. But if you are using um, Google Form or Qualtrics and you are having students um, from your university complete the surveys through these platforms, they will need to be logged in generally through their university email login and they may run into issues if they're not. So that's just something to consider and I haven't been able to address that question for you um, in this video, but that might be the problem. So if they're emailing you and they can't do it when you've sent them the link that I showed you how to send in this video, just um, let them know, confirm with them that they're logged in through their university ID. And um, if you still have that question, I will make another video for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was really helpful for you to have ideas of how to create surveys um, for your students in teaching online. Thank you so much.